Hello everybody, Big Ed here. Welcome back to another episode of Skyblock in Minecraft. This episode is going to be slightly different. We are going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a cactus farm. So the items required are cactus, sand, cobblestone wall or a fence, hoppers, crop hoppers, chests and maybe an auto cell chest. So step one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build five high in both in all four corners to mark out the area for the chests room underneath the cactus farm step two i am going to start placing cobblestone walls above this chest height area so what you're going to do is on one of your corners place another one high so it goes to six place one on the side and then place your cobblestone wall like that so you look so you're looking at something like this so you've got your cobblestone wall in the corner. Break those two pieces of cobblestone so that you've got your wall sitting there. Place a piece of cobblestone and then a wall, then a cobblestone, then a wall, and so on until you reach the end of your little area here. It's not going to go directly to the end, but you don't want it to go directly to the end because we're going to stagger it in height. So what you do is break these pieces of cobblestone just like so. So then you're looking at something like this. And then what you do is you repeat until you get to the other end. So once you've placed all of your cobblestone walls or your fences, it should look something like this. So we're going all the way down that side. We've got a gap here. We've got a gap down this side and we're going just along there. Step three is place your sand on top of the cobblestone walls or fences. So you should end up with something like this. And then on top of the sand, you're going to want to place your cactus, just like so. So then you end up with something looking like this. So you've got an area underneath for your chests. You've got your cobblestone wall or your fence layer. Then you've got a sand layer. And then you've got a cactus layer. And then what you're going to want to do is, what I do is I place a sand on top of the cactus. And then I place a wall in between. Break the sand and then you've got a wall to start your layer for the next layer above so if we carry that on so when you get to the second layer where you've left these gaps here you are going to fill in with cobblestone wall just like so and then on this side obviously we're not going to go here we are going to stay on this side but now that you have your second layer of cobblestone walls again place your sand on top just like so and then again place your cactus on top of that and there we have it. We have two layers of our cactus farm completed. Where this is in one chunk, you can make this as tall as you want. You can go all the way to the world limit, then all the way down to the lower world limit. And if you have your chest area here, it will collect everything in the entire chunk and bring it all into your sorting system. So the next step is we are going to create our sorting system. So what you're going to need for this section is your chest and your hoppers and your crop hoppers. So when it comes to setting up your storage or your cactus farm here, originally I had an idea to place chests there, chests there, chests there. But then I thought it takes up a lot of space. It's not very convenient. And there are some things called crop hoppers here on OP blocks. If you're unaware, so this is what a crop hopper does. Place the hopper down for automatically collecting crops. So all of the crops that are falling from this cactus farm will get picked up by this crop hopper and go straight down into this sorting system. I'm going to make a slimline version that you can do on this server. So that way you can have the entire chunk as cactus farm. So I'm starting off over here. So I've got a chest. I'm going to place a hopper there. I'm going to place a chest just like this and then a hopper and then a chest. And I'm going to do this all the way around so that way we have lots and lots of storage. And a good thing about it is where we place this between these poles, we are still within the limit. This one, unfortunately, I'm going to have to place a bit different just so that we can go around. So, I don't know, it looks exactly the same. Ignore me. But, um, so look at this. Look, so to save space, we have got the chests going round the cactus farm instead of taking up a huge chunk of the cactus farm area. So this is gonna save a lot of space. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly whiz round until I run out of hoppers. So to finish this off, I'm just going to place the crop hopper here on top and it's gonna be collecting our cactus. If you didn't know, if you shift right click 
any of the custom hoppers on this server it brings up this filter option so for this one i'm going to disable all and enable cactus so that way this only picks up cactus so once you've finished you should have something that looks like this and if it all works we should see cactus in this chest very very shortly but as you can see we've gone all the way around the outside of the chunk gone to the corner back up this should be enough storage for now eventually i will do the entire chunk with this cactus farm but uh, for the time being i think this will be enough storage so there we have it look we have got a cactus in our chest oh we've got loads of cactus coming in our chest so we know that this system works so to make this more efficient on op blocks or any other server that has implemented a crop hopper you can actually fill in all of these gaps here so for example we can place a cobblestone just there we can place a wall next to it get rid of the cobblestone place a sand place a cactus and we can fill in the gaps just like this because we don't have to worry about the cactus going anywhere because as soon as it breaks the crop hopper up there will pick it up so we don't have to worry about having any of these gaps so yeah this is another way to make it more efficient so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill all this out quickly to show you what a extremely efficient cactus farm looks like so just like that i have now filled in this middle section here with cactus so now everything has only got one block in between so when it comes to placing the next layer there will be a cobblestone fence here so it will stop all four of these from growing any higher and it will drop it down ready for the crop hopper to collect again unfortunately this method will only work with a server that has crop hoppers because if you did the original method, which is water underneath going pitching down into a hopper system here into your chest, it wouldn't work because the if on the second layer, for example, if if I show you here, so if we put a thing there, so we've got a cobblestone wall there, we'll chuck our sand here, then we've got our cactus. And I'll do the same on this side as well, just to show you. So these cactus will probably fall into this hole, which will then get stuck on this cactus. So it will never actually reach the bottom. So it wouldn't work in a conventional method. You would have to have the crop hoppers enabled or implemented on your server, which is very very good thing to have so in the description down below i'll leave the ip address to this server if you are interested in starting skyblock also down below i have got a tutorial on how to get started with fishing how to create a cobblestone generator and a tutorial on how to get started with skyblock this server also has one block skyblock at the start you can choose what sort of island you have I believe there are I believe there are about 15 different options for the diff, for the type of island that you can have and one of them is a one block so if if one block sky block is your thing then make sure you check out the server the staff are extremely friendly extremely helpful and the it's a good community as well uh, I'd say it's a very good server it's not pay to win or anything it's just a very grindy server so if you like Skyblock and enjoy grinding for hours on end, then this is 100% the server for you. And if you guys ever come on, my in-game name is Puzzler Source that you see on the screen just here. If you ever have any questions, just drop me a message in-game and I'll do my best to I'll do my best to get back to you. So once you guys have finished your cactus farm, it should look something like this. So we've got the outside row. And then we've got every other block, so it should look something like this. This is the most efficient way to create your cactus farm on OP blocks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this up probably 10, 20 more layers, depending how I'm feeling. But uh, yeah, 
So that is how you create the most efficient cactus farm. But yeah, that's it for this cactus tutorial video. If you found it helpful, please let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribing to the channel for more content. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.